lovelies welcome back to my channel welcome if you haven't been here before my name is christina white and i do videos on lifestyle fashion and beauty so today's video as you can tell from the title is an unboxing of the new complete dyson airwrap 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 collection and i got the long version because i do wear hair extensions and i'd like to see how well i get um, or how well this works on the long hair of the extension so i cut them where i can't speak today um anyway but it's early morning i've got up i did have a bath last night um and washed my hair so this morning i've just quickly given it a sea wash with some purple conditioner and hopefully that will be enough to just give it a little bit more of a zhuzh and it won't come out greasy so i haven't done anything with it i've just applied my skincare this morning and i'm waiting for the zeliac acid to soak in to my skin um so what i'm going to do is i'm going to apply my heat protector. I'm using the Weller, what's this called? I can't what it's called. Thermal Image, E-I-M-I -I version. I don't know how to pronounce that, or whether you pronounce that, or whether you just say the letters. And then I'm going to comb through with my Tangle Teaser. God, these Tangle Teasers have been a um, lifesaver for hair everywhere, haven't they? I've got so many. Um, and then I'm using my all-in-one leave-in conditioner from um, Moroccan Oil. I love this. I think this is actually really good. It smells great, and it's also got a bit of heat protector in it as well. But I like to use the standalone one of those, just in case, you never know how much they actually have. So comb that through it as well. So I'm going to see, the main reason I bought this is for my flyaway bits on my hair. And I don't normally buy like the first iteration of something either. So I'm all like itchy because the azelaic acid's working on my face. Um, yeah, I don't normally buy the first version of a new product just because I know the second one's going to be all the like niggly things are going to be worked out that customers realise and complained about things like that. So. I normally buy the second version of something, which is what I want you to do with this one. This one came out a few months ago. I've had it on my bucket list, <laughs> on my wish list. And then I just decided the other day to actually bite the bullet and buy it. I wish I'd spotted it a bit earlier because I actually did want either the, um, the bronze and silver one or the navy and silver one, but instead I got like the one that's mostly pink with the silver, the fuchsia one. So I'll just open this, I'm not sure where the best place to open it is. There's a big flap there, but I'm not going to even attempt to pull that with my new fingernails. It's very nice. Just peel that down. The side, I think. Oh. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Open it from the top. Yes. Dyson Airwrap Complete Long. Ooh. Lovely, beautiful. Pretty nice. Okay. So I bought this direct from Dyson so I could get the full pink one. I'm not really a fan of silver, so I would have preferred to have the navy and bronze one, I think. That's like a lot prettier. Um, but they didn't have it in stock and I didn't want to keep waiting and waiting and waiting for it. I did when I um first came out I did look then and they were out of stock then as well so I don't even know if they've ever been back in stock but I'm just gonna cut through that sticky at the top there that's it open this out I'm gonna roll back up to tip you down somewhat so I can actually unbox this on the screen <laughs> so just just out of view sort of thing right Ooh, comes in the lovely box this one's not a tan box, this comes in a black box by the looks of things. I quite like the tan one. I did think it was going to come in a tan box, but is this black or navy? Oh, it's navy. Okay, I'm not mad. I'm not mad at that at all. I <laughs> just peeled off half my leg skin with it. Oh, look. It's gorgeous. So it's got a little T 
teeny tiny Dyson imprint on the top. Let's have a look and imagine that this is the front. Yep, that's a little flat there. Oh, oh okay, that comes straight off. I haven't really watched any of these unboxings, so I'm not really sure what to expect in here. So, welcome to your Dyson Airwrap multi-styler. Scan the QR code to watch the startup video, register your product and explore the full range of attachments. Lovely. So here's all the goodies inside. I'm gonna try and like memorize how this is kept so that I can repeat it. Okay. So the long piece goes there. There's a compartment there for the smoothing brush. Oh, that's cool. They like they change direction. Um, these are the long curlers in here. And then we've got the other brush with directional vents. So that's cool. Okay, so I'm going to unpeel this part for you on camera. With the little shelf. Yeah, it's come very nicely packaged. My silicon. Ribbon. Your user manual and machine registration card. Pull this off of here. Very nice indeed. Little power pack. Cool, cool. Then, maybe a bit of ASMR here. Very nice. Ooh. Oh, wow, it's like got an ergonomic handle, so it's not completely round. I thought it'd be completely round, but it's actually like an oval shape. I don't know if the other one was like that, but that, I like that. So it fits in your palm really nicely. I was thinking it was like a massive round thing that's gonna, but no, that's lovely. Yeah, I really like that. Okay, so it's got the on button, the speed I'm guessing, and heat perhaps? Is that the heat? There's like three dots next to this one and then no dots next to this one. I can't, it's got a dot on it. The other one's got a fan. So that's definitely a speed. And I'm assuming that that one is cool and warm or warm and warmer. Yeah, I've got to scan the QR code to find what that is. So where's my, oh, I was gonna say where's my phone? I'm filming on it. So I can't do that with you on camera. Yeah, well, I will do that. I will do that now. I'll quickly stop recording this and check it and then I'll let you know. So yes, that is exactly what it is. It is a little cleaner for this part. So I'm assuming it goes over that and then you clean the filter out. How cool is that? And then we've got these sexy doodars here. Ooh, it's got a sticker. I can unpeel it. There we go. Ah! I'm stabbing myself with scissors. My kid at Christmas. Come on! Open. There we go. So these are the thick and thin curlers so what's happened with the second generation is i believe yeah there's you turn it at the top to change the direction of the airflow so you don't need one for one side and one for another you just turn the top now to change the direction of the curl that you want so you've only got two ones instead of four ones so that's cool and then we've got the smoothing uh, hair dryer compartment compartment attachment <laughs> that's the word 
the smoothing air attachment. So I believe this is like the, the hair dryer part and then also the um, coanda bit that makes the flyaways stick down, which is one of the main reasons I purchased this. So I think one side like this is like the hair dryer or that's the suck in, I can't remember. But it, again, you just change the direction of it. Um, I think that's just for that one. What do you know? There's like a, there's definitely a thing there. Definitely a thing there. To change it. Who knows? It definitely looks like it's twist, but it feels a bit stiff. So I'll watch a video on that one. And then, last but by no means least, is the hot air styling brush. Now I love these. Hopefully this works similar to the one that I already have because I would love to have not all the wires trailing around my lovely, beautiful dressing room now. I've got like hair dryer, hair straightener, another hair straightener, curling wand, the waving wand that I use for my hair extension. So it would just be nice to have most of that, except for obviously the little mini crimper in one. So yeah, hopefully this is going to work just as well as my Babyliss hot air styler. So I'm excited. Right, I believe that's everything in here. I'll bring this cardboard out because I'm not a fan of cardboard. It's quite a nice piece actually. I'll, I think I'll just leave that in there actually because that fits everything around it. I'll take these bits off. I don't need those. Okay, so I'm going to quickly check out the manual on how to use this and then I'm going to use it because my hair is quickly drying and I really don't want that to happen. So, Okay, so leave this just clicks on like that, yep. And then to release it, you pull down and it releases a little bit easily. I don't feel like it, I mean it connects, but it doesn't give it that sort of satisfying click where you know it's definitely in. And there's a bit of a gap there, so. I don't know, we'll see. Um, yes, yeah, so this will turn once it's in. It wasn't turning when I had it off of it, so I believe it has to be in for it to click. So you direct the airflow. That's the piece that changes. So this is the smoothing side and this is the blowing side, I believe. <laughs> so let's give it a go and just... Oh, <laughs> I made me jump. I on my fist. Right, yeah, so that's the blowing. That's the blowing side. So I'm gonna dry my hair to like 90% and then I'm gonna use the smoothing side to try and fix that. Okay, I actually, I really like that because this handle doesn't get hot with a hairdryer. The nozzle gets really hot so you can't just like lay it in your lap. With this, I can just finish with it and put it straight into my lap and it's fine. Um, I'm impressed with this so far without having even used the um, smoothing piece. Ugh, got hair in my mouth. <laughs> I could already tell that this is quite smooth. This might be because I've just done a condition wash, like a sea wash. I washed my hair last night properly, like with shampoo and conditioner, and then this morning I just gave it a quick wash with conditioner to wet it again. Because I know that if I just wash it, it I don't know, if I just wet it, rather it goes like greasy, it's weird. Um, yeah, it might be that, so it might be, it feels a bit heavier than usual. Um, I'm just going to separate this out because I have more hair this side because my side parting 
I'm going to blow dry the hair underneath and then do the top part. But I like I like how this looks already. I haven't had to use the smoothing brush or anything yet. That was just with my hands. So so far, so good. This will do. Right, I'm going to do this part underneath because this is where I get the most kinky bits. See these like waves here. So I'm just going to do that. Let's see if this can just straighten that without much hassle. actually James Dyson who invented or decided to go into hair and beauty or whether it was like a development team that thought that um, the air filter that they use and like the fan in the room because I think that came first before the cyclone hairdryer thingy so I wonder whose idea it was to get into the beauty scene instead of just homewares because it's a really good idea very profitable business beauty <laughs> so, right that was really good probably wish I'd maybe separated it out and actually done the bottom first rather than just this one side because that kinks quite it's quite a kinky kink Okay, so I forgot myself a little bit there and I kind of dried my hair, I'd say probably more 95% at this point. Um, so, just going to turn this round and see how this smoothing side works. I like this button, it's like you just press it once and it bounces back down, it's like a spring roll, then a click. You just... So, you place this against your head and side you press it against this little piece will click and then that catches the hair and then sends it that way so it's really interesting so it's like it's using the back of the hair dryer to pull the hair a certain way so i'm going to do that now Okay, that actually worked instantly. Can you see this here? There's like, forget this bit at the back, so I'm gonna use that, do that next, but can you see this? Can you see this? Hopefully that stays. Because these bits are normally like, pss, just as I walk around with pss, bits. Right, let's try the back. I can see that. I can totally see that. This side now. Life changing. It has made my hair feel very flat though, doing that. I've got like no volume. <laughs> no volume whatsoever now. So. Perhaps what I'll try now is adding some volume and then maybe smoothing it because obviously I just blow dried it basically to my head anyway. So there was no volume to have at anyway. And my hair does not tend to have much volume when once I've blow dried it. Once it's wet and it's wavy, there's a bit of volume going on, but when I let it air dry, but if I blow dry it, there's no real volume. So I do have to lift it up. So I'm going to do that now. Give that a look in. It's kind of weird where it doesn't click. I feel like it should give that satisfactory, satisfactory click. Right.
Okay, that got caught straight away in my hair. I use that like I would my fabulous one. So I think I've got to work out a way of using that without it getting tangled. Because look what it's done to my hair. <laughs> These are the bits I'm talking about. You see this? This, this is this. Okay, so we're, I'm going to poof the roots and then we're going to try the smoothing attachment. Okay, that's definitely working. It's definitely poofing that up. So I'm going to do a quick separation to a few of the beneath layers. I'm just gonna do this as well. Otherwise I'll just go what do you mean? straight down my face. <laughs> Not a good look. I feel like that should be gripping gripping on a bit better than it is. I mean, I like that. That looks good. So that's definitely adding volume. Like, straight away. I've, I've never experienced that in my life. That's just like instantly, and I've not added like any root boosting products or anything. So I'm just gonna go through half of that again. The test will be whether it still looks fly away after using the smoothing brush or whether the smoothing brush ruins the volume. So it's definitely added some nice volume. Also, a lot of flyaways. This is what I was talking about. So do you see all of these little pieces here? Some of them are longer than others. Some of them are teeny weeny. So I've got a nice, nice, about, a nice amount of bounce. I haven't got any at the back, so I'm just gonna quickly do that actually. Volume in the back. Just gonna quick clean it in. Right. So this is the test for me. So for reference, let's check out these wispy bits. Can you tell? Like all of this here, all of this here, all this at the back. It's just like these are the worst bits. These bits at the front. Because the wind blows and then I just walk around like this all day, like something about Mary going on. Look, see, look at this. So, this I would normally like put hairspray on one of those little skinny um, root boost brushes, like the back combing brush, and then put a bit of hairspray and brush that down. So, let's see if this does the jobby instead without killing the volume it just created.
see the little ones are still there. It didn't kill the volume now. That's still there. I mean, it's not there as much as it was, but it's definitely still there. But then if I brush my fingers through, I'm actually happy with that. I've got a few little ditty ones here, but that's probably the placement of this rod here. I'll get, get better at doing that. So I just pressed it right down on my hair then to see what happens with the volume. You can see all the little wispy ones are still there. So maybe, still got a bit of heat on it, I'll leave it to set in that position before I touch it. Get away, little moffy. Oh, carpet moth in my dressing room. Oh no. Anyway. I'm going to leave that to sit and hopefully set, not fly away. And then we'll see once it's cooled down, it's still warm. Because as it is now, it's absolutely fine. This is fine. So if it stays in this position and I can like move my hair about with my fingers and that sort of thing, then I'm happy with that. I did absolutely, I wasn't expecting this at all love how quick after blow drying my hair that then boosted my hair because i haven't straightened my hair yet and i could totally leave it like this i'd be fine leaving it like this i've um got my long oh my long i've got my short hair extensions as well that if i put them in now this hair would look perfectly fine i think without having to use my straighteners so then i'm not further damaging my hair because I am on a hair journey. I am trying not to trash my hair. So I'm just dyeing my roots with the same color every single time. 30 developer straight on my roots with the number 10 A or is it eight? 10 slash eight. I think the eight is for ash or the A whatever, but it's the straight ash level 10 from Weller. Um, Illumina range, I believe. <clears throat> and that's what I use on my hair. Um, that gives me a little bit of a ginger root, but not too much that I care too much about it. It's not enough to make me warrant redoing them and further damaging my hair because the next time when that grows out, the colour that I put on there will spread slightly onto that and redo that anyway. So that's how I'm working that into my hair. So let's put these in. These are the short ones that I cut the other day. Okay, so the extensions are in, the flyaways are back with a vengeance. I'm gonna watch a video real quick. Okay, so I watched some videos. There wasn't a lot, and there was one with one lady using this. At the beginning of the video, she starts with it like this, talk, talking to you about it, and then at the end, the hair nozzle's here, so like she's, spun it round somewhere and didn't explain that situation. So I'm really not sure. And then she turned the um, airflow down to low and the heat to medium. So I'm gonna try that. But the way she used it was like, like this. So it, I don't even know if that would even do anything to be honest with you. So I'm gonna use her settings. I'm gonna try this. I think that's, I think that's just the blow dryer version. Um, if that doesn't work, then I'm gonna try those, these settings with that flipped back around to where I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be. Yeah, that, that's not doing anything. That's not doing anything with that there. I don't know what that's all about. Yeah.
me just get my mirror out and try it in my mirror instead of like trying to see in the mirror on my desk, on my dressing table. So let's give this another go. So, the frizz struggle continues. I'm not overwhelmed by the Dyson um, Flyaway Tamer at all. I do love this. I love how that gave me like, instant volume. So that's a nice addition that I didn't know would be so quick to achieve. It's like instantaneous. Um, I like how it's made my little fringe have that cute bevel about it, so that's nice. I think I'm still just going to have to use the hairspray on the back combing brush for this part of my parting. For now, until these bits grow out. I'm not sure where they came from. These are actually quite new. Like I've only been having these the last few months, these little frizzy bits. Um, it might just be that I'm always parting my hair on this side. Maybe I've got to change the side I have my parting on or something like that. And they're just getting too dry because that's always the side that I'm like putting my part. Um, but yeah, so the Dyson has not fixed that issue. But I do still really like it and I've got loads of other attachments to use. So I'll do that in another video. Although this is just going to be like two hours long. So what are my first impressions of the Dyson Airwrap Complete Long version? So initially I love the handle I really really love how that is shaped for the palm and the lightweightness of this is remarkable so I already have the GHD I think it's the aura it could be the air I can't remember which one it's called but it's the one with as <clears throat> sorry I've got hay fever it's the one that has the power pack actually on the cable so it makes the handheld part more lightweight I would say that the hairdryer part of it is still maybe twice as heavy as this if not just a third heavier than this so that's quite well that's really good because doing your hair um, my arm didn't get tired it was also a lot quicker as well so that helped with the non-tiredness of the arm situation so it was so quick I loved how smooth being one straight piece of air like one straight flow I don't know what the word is what do you call that the disbursement of that what would that be called the smoothness of the air flow coming straight out and down my hair shaft I'm I'm really happy with how smooth my hair is. I haven't straightened it. All I've done is I have sprayed my parting with some of my Elnet and I've got the Shine Dull Hair Stronghold version. So it's like the little purple one. Um, yeah, that's how held down the flyaways. I like how it sort of beveled this bit of my fringe without any sort of effort. I didn't actually intend it to do this, but it did it anyway. So that's nice. I like that. I've just got these little extensions in. What I'm going to try next in a future video is the other attachments. And I'm quite keen to try these brushes out to see how straight and smooth I can actually get my hair. Um, using the sort of the coanda, I believe. I believe this uses the coanda effect. Um, so yeah, I'll do that in a future video and then... I will, once I've used all of the pieces, I'll do like a review of this as a whole because then I'll be more um, abreast of the situation. Yeah, I'll know a bit more what I'm talking about. So I'll do a, a review video on this, um, maybe in like a month's time or something like that.